what's up guys, Black Sheep here, and for today's retail review, <clears throat> opening up an old favorite, um, 10, 11, Pinnacle from Panini. <clears throat> Pinnacle is a very, very cheap product at this point, but I love getting it because you're guaranteed a hit whenever you get one of these, and that's what I love about Panini, just when they made, um, these retail products, how do I open this? When they made these retail products, they made it so you could easily get hits, <clears throat> especially at the retail level. And I think that that was cool because I think it really encouraged um, new collectors and people to get into the hobby because at the retail level, <clears throat> Upper Deck is such, um, it's so hard to get to get hits um, from retail packs. So let's go ahead and take a look at Panini 2011 Pinnacle, or 2010-11 Pinnacle. Looking to get some some inserts as well as a hit, maybe some rookies. We'll see what we hit from this box. Uh, first pack though is all base. Next pack with stamp coast. We have some really nice cards. I mean, these are really cool looking <clears throat> base cards in terms of the photography and what they put in. This is cool. It's an Icebreakers Patrice Cormier. And it is Doof, uh, the Nufex, I should say, not Dufex, Nufex. Nice and shiny. Great looking card. Cool insert. Okay, next up, the thing I don't like is the cards are every which way in this pack, so that one's all base. Let's go this way, OV. Another Icebreakers rookie card, Nathan Lawson. So not picking up the big, big name rookie cards. This looks really fat, so I'm thinking there might be a hit in this. I'm going to save this. Let's put this one on the bottom. <clears throat> Just looks like the pack is, like, stretched out. And here we have Taming Solani, Saku Koivu, Chemistry on Canvas, and it is sort of that canvas uh, texture card, so that's that's... That's great. I love to see that when companies add texture to the cards. Especially on a low-end product like this. I mean, card, these cards are not <clears throat> particularly expensive at all now. And to see some effort put into stuff like that is great. Team Pinnacle, Patrick Kane. And who's on the front? Um, Marion Gabrick. And this is really sweet. We got partial um, Nufex technology with the regular and team pinnacle i think these were actually a little bit more difficult to get the hit the back um, is just regular back in the old days these cards were so desirable um with the with the two players on the both sides had a gretzky and lemieux one that was that i really wanted super bad <clears throat> This next pack is all base. And last pack, this is the thick pack that I'm predicting has a hit in it and it does. Looks like a jersey. That's cool. Thornton. It looks like a Threads jersey. It's, it's red. So let's see who we get. Pierre Luc Le Tourneau LeBlanc. Wow. I do not even know this player. But there we go, Threads Jersey, numbered to four ninety nine. Zoom in. Pierre LeBlond is what I was just say. Number P L L. Cool. And that's what I think is really awesome because wouldn't it be cool if you were a brand new collector? looking for a cheaper product, buying Pinnacle back in the day, 
getting a jersey card um, or an autograph or something like that. I think that would be really exciting. This box was actually really sweet. I really enjoyed it. I loved getting the hit. Loved the Team Pinnacle card. And then the other stuff was just kind of a bonus icing on the cake. Thanks for watching, guys.